What's up, guys? It's David coming at you from Organic Prize Books with a new release from uh, Marvel Omnibus, and I'm excited for it. Today, we're looking at Superior Spider-Man, the Superior Spider-Man, uh -uh. uh -uh. the Superior Spider-Man, uh, Volume 1. So we have the standard right here. Let me show that to you. Here's the front, the spine, and the back. And then we have, of course, the DM. With this, which is the Caseta cover, very nice. Here's the front, spine, and the back. Uh, now the Caseta cover is sweet, but this one, uh, look, I'm wearing my Spider-Man shirt. Hey, check it out. That's really cool. It's actually a Venom shirt. But anyway, this one is so badass just because of the fact that, uh, you know, if you haven't read, in spoiler warning, it's basically Doc Ock's brain in Spider-Man's body. And uh, this one, I think, definitely... Uh, embodies that better because it's like dark so spider-man's coming out dark i like this one better uh this one just feels like it's spider-man cover which is great don't get me wrong it's a great cover but he's not even wearing the uh superior spider-man costume it's just a regular spider-man costume let's go with the let's go with the uh you know superior one here uh let me show you what it looks like underneath it's a nice little uh contrast black spread so you got like the shiny matte let me put it like this so you can see it so it's like the shiny not shiny, but like the glossy black and then the other black, like a charcoal. It looks really cool. I like that Spider-Man upside down. Very nice. Uh, all right, so let's take a look what's in the book. So let's jump into Superior Spider-Man. Uh, let's see. Nice. Definitely, I like the, the modern retelling. And this is a pretty interesting story. Uh, this is basically how Otto Octavius got one over on Spider-Man and then how Spider-Man had to figure his way out of this one. Uh, but what I really like, I think to me, the most interesting aspect is seeing, you know, of course we know, uh, you know, a Dr. Octopus as the bad guy, but having him have to basically play Spider-Man or play Peter Parker and be, uh, you know, his relationships, not only with, like, Mary Jane, but also with, like, Aunt May, and uh, especially Aunt May, because if you don't remember, or if you do remember, Otto Octavia has married May, Aunt May for a while, but now having to be his actual, like, unc or nephew, so it's kind of like, uh, you know, it's a little weird. So seeing that is, is really funny to me. Um, but, you know, that's, I like these concepts where it's like, you know, what, let's not throw Spider-Man a villain that he can beat up because, you know, we always know Peter Parker will triumph over those because, it's you know, it's Peter Parker. He's the man. But let's throw him something that attacks or, you know, an enemy that's inside his own body uh, that's not like a virus or anything. It's something in his mind. So that's actually really cool. I, I really enjoyed this concept and how long it, it was going on for because I know he was also part of, like, the... Uh, New Avengers with Jonathan Hickman when he was writing it, he was also part of that as well. So it's really interesting seeing that uh, take form in the, all the different events that were going on, uh, you know, with Spider-Man. So let me just show you, let me tell you what it says. Otto Octavius is superior. When a dying Dr. Octopus swaps his mind into Spider-Man's body, he sentences his accursed enemy to oblivion and sets out to prove he can be a smarter, stronger superhero. With an upgraded costume and some new tricks in his arsenal, Otto swings into action, but his much more violent approach to crime fighting doesn't sit well with the Avengers. At the, as the ruthless new wall crawler battles and brutalizes his way through Spidey's rogues gallery, will Otto's fiercest fight be against the resurgent Green Goblin or whatever traces remain of the one true Peter Parker? Experience Dan Slott's modern classic saga that shocked the world. And that's actually very true. I mean, Otto, of course, he has more brutal ways than Peter Parker. But having to, like, I guess, straddle that line of being a hero, but also having to, like, like he knows he's, he's, he, he can win if he were to, like, not kill, but definitely incapacitate the bad guys more ruthlessly than Peter Parker. You know, he has to draw, like, he has to basically hold himself back. Uh, the funniest thing to me, I think, is that, you know, when he was Superior Spider-Man, you know, the, that Peter Parker, in quotation marks, Peter Parker, uh, you know, you know, was 
definitely more successful business wise, not only with his company, but as well with like with with his relationships, how people reviewed him. Like he he basically made Peter Parker more uh, famous. I would say like you know his business was was um, the beyond uh, or, you know organization that he was ahead of basically was more successful than it was with Peter. So can you imagine like somebody takes over your life and makes you better? <laughs> oh, I took my body back. Yeah. Wow. This guy made me a bunch of money and he started his own business in, you know, under my name. And now like I make some real good money and I, you know, oh, oh man. So that's, that's pretty funny to me. It's kind of like, oh, Peter Parker, I took your life and I made it better. Like somebody stole your identity and gave you, and like instead of lowering your credit score, they gave you better credit score and they like opened up businesses in your name for you to take over and, and uh, you know, <laughs> succeed in. Uh, so let's let's see what extras are included in this one. Uh, we, as you can see here, it's quite a bit of story. Uh, all right. And I believe this one also celebrated the... Issue 700 of Spider-Man. So let's see if it has some of those there. Very nice. Like that one by Capiel. Look at this one. This one is so cool. This is by Marcos Martin. Very nice. I really like how it has all of the writers that have written for Spider-Man down here. Like, you know, you got Steve Ditko, John Romita, artists as well, Roger Stern, uh, Mark Bagley, Stan Lee, of course, Todd McFarlane, uh, David Michelini, uh, Marv Wolf Wolfnam. So very cool. I like that. Oh, you get to see this one. Very nice. Ramos does some good jobs too. Yeah. And they'll got, okay, yeah. This is the one for the cover, of course, but just in black and white. Very cool. Bajo Caseta. Caseta? Casada. I say it Casada because it's Spanish, but maybe he says Caseta. This is the one finally with the with the color on it. Very nice, number seven hundred, and you have Doc Ock doing the with the spider web. <laughs> Reminiscent, of course, of Todd McFarlane's uh, three hundred cover. There you go. Death in the family. And I actually do like uh, the Superior Spider-Man's costume. Very very nice. I really like the design on that one, especially like that blackish, uh, the dark blue that's almost black, I really I really like that for Spider-Man because it's a little bit different. It's not as bright, it's more dark like that. Yeah, you get a lot of really good covers on this one. This one, yeah, I like that, that dark, that dark black, blue, blue black, however you want to call it. And then he was also uh, part of the whole um, Spider Verse, Into the Spider Verse, uh, you know, all of that. He was, he was actually uh, an important part of that one, if you remember that. So if you don't, we also have the Spider Verse on the bus available at Organic Price Books for you to look into. A little bit of edge issue right there, if you can see it. And then he, of course, had the metallic arms, which was really cool. I enjoyed that. You know, using his tech technological prowess to be better, the little bat, the little spider robots, I always enjoyed those. I thought that was a really cool way for him to, uh, you know, use his, his advanced knowledge for technology to make it even better. Nice. Tim Sale, very nice. Oh, look at this one. This one's real good. Oh, oh Mary Jane looks real hot in that. Very cool. And there we go. Oh, see, I like this cover. This would have been nice. You got the Superior Spider-Man here, and then you have the regular Spider-Man. Uh, very, very cool. I really like that Spider-Man has such a variety of costumes available to him. Um, you know, his classic, of course, but some of the other ones for the, you know, from the 2099 all the way to Ben Riley's costumes, all of those look really cool. All right, some more extras here. Uh, some of these uh, Q&As that you see there. Very cool. All of the covers there together. Wow, number one. This is basically Amazing Spider-Man number one through 700 cover gallery. So you get to see all of the cool cover galleries from one to 700. Jeez, jeez Louise. Wow, look at that. And then we finish with that one, the 700 one. That one's so cool. I wish they had this one, that one in a bigger one. I think they have it somewhere. If you saw my uh, 
thumbnail pictures. They have it somewhere on there, but it's really, really cool. All right, guys, so there you go. This is the Superior Spider-Man that just came out with Marvel. Get your copy. You have the standard. We have the DM. I like it, the standard, like I said, or get yourself the DM, however you, when you like. Uh, but get it at Organic Prize Books, guys, and I will see you in the next one.